Hi guys, it's Morgan from The Treasure Trove and I just wanted to film this intro really quick. Uh, I decided to just sit down and do a everyday look that I've been doing a lot recently and I noticed that I was using a lot of e.l.f. products to do it so I decided to do a one brand tutorial because e.l.f. is the only brand that I own that I could possibly do a one brand tutorial on and I'm thinking about doing these more frequently. The only thing that I didn't use, which you'll see in the video in the tutorial part was mascara because I opened my mascara and it had all dried out from e.l.f. so I apologize for that. It's not my best work. There were a lot of unexpected, unforeseen problems that I encountered during the making of this but if you would like to see how I got this face of makeup, you can stick around and remember, stay cheap and lazy. Hi guys, so obviously we're starting off with the e.l.f. eyelid primer here and this is one or two dollars. You guys probably already heard of it, it's all over YouTube. Just a standard primer and I really like it. This one is down to the last drop so it takes me a while to like scrape it out of the packaging and I'm just patting that all over my eyelid. Now I'm taking the Little Black Beauty Book in the Warm Edition. I got this for Christmas, Brian's mom actually got this for me and I really like it. So I'm just using this shade that's similar to my skin tone and swiping that all over where I put the primer because this primer has a tendency to skip with the eyeshadow just a little bit so this creates a smooth canvas. Now I'm going in with this like taupey uh, brown shade and just swiping that on a fluffy brush through the crease. And I tried to use mostly off brushes for this but I don't have a lot of their eye brushes so mostly the eye brushes are from BH Cosmetics and other places. So I took a slightly deeper brown shade and I put it, I'm putting this through the crease with a fluffy kind of pencil brush here. Now I'm taking this burgundy shade and I'm going to be using this pencil like dome style brush to swipe it through the crease to add intensity to this look and this brush is from Coastal Scents. I originally said it was from BH Cosmetics but JK I don't have any brushes from them. Now taking my pro brand branding branding full <laughs> pro blending fluff brush from Coastal Scents and I'm just going to be buffing that out. We want to make the edges all blown out and soft and then I'm going to be going back in with that burgundy shade once again and adding more intensity. You know the drill. Like every video. Blend, add more color. Blend, add more color. That's just the way eyeshadows go. Now lastly I'm taking this fun purple color and this is actually an e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. It was a limited edition snake skin print and it's a lot fluffier than their regular professional eyeshadow brush and I'm just patting that purple all over the blank spot that I left on my lid. Halfway through filming my eyeliner, I realized that my camera wasn't recording. So here's me frustratingly showing you the e.l.f. cream eyeliner and I will be using the angled eyeliner brush from e.l.f. also to finish up doing my wing and I definitely wouldn't recommend using this brush or even buying it for your eyeliner because it just really complicates things. It doesn't make it any easier, it actually makes it really frustrating to do this. So. I uh, normally stick with liquid. I use this cream eyeliner a lot, but it's because I don't really have the right brush for it. I will have to invest in a better brush. Here's where I show you the regular and waterproof mascara duo that I was going to use for the one brand tutorial, but as you can see, it was gross and dried out and I was confused. So here's me just using my regular Rimmel mascara. And now I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Ivory. I normally mix, oh, I'm using the e.l.f. Powder Brush to put this on as well, which is $3 and I love it, it's great. I normally mix this foundation with my Wet n Wild coverall because this shade is a little too dark for me, but for the sake of the one brand tutorial, I just used the foundation. And now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Under Eye Concealer. Obviously, duh, e.l.f., we're doing a one brand tutorial. Um, the Under Eye Concealer and Highlighter Duo. I, at first, didn't like this concealer at all, but I found out it's because I was putting it on incorrectly. If you just press 
this foundation in little swiping motions into your skin, it gives great coverage. And you can see I was trying to use the e.l.f. contour brush there, but it didn't work out. So I went back to using my regular old concealer brush. Apparently I decided to take a break and lip sync Fortunate Sun to the camera, which I didn't even realize I left in this. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Now this is the e.l.f. Cover Everything Concealer and this is only $2 and I really like this stuff. It's just a cream concealer and I'm using it to go over any little blemishes I have. I also use it under my under eyes. It works really well for that too. I, uh, a lot of people give e.l.f.'s concealers a, like a bad rap but I actually really enjoy a lot of them that I've tried so far anyway. And now I'll be taking my favorite e.l.f. Press Mineral Foundation to set all my concealer. I really love this powder. I'll be using the e.l.f. Blush Brush to set that concealer, which is what I use to set all my under eye concealer. I love it, use it every day. This powder is fantastic. It, uh, it stops my concealer from creasing without drying out my under eyes and making it look all crepey. It is the perfect powder for my dry skin. Now just finishing up my eyeshadows, I'm taking that same burgundy color on that fluffy uh, Coastal Scents eyeshadow brush and putting it all under my eye area and then going in with that brighter purple on the more pointed dome style brush and swiping that under there as well and then just blending it out with my pro blending fluff brush oh, and getting eyeshadow all in my eye. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. concealer pencil and brush duo and I'm just putting that in my waterline to make my eyes look more awake. And now going back to the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter duo, I'm just taking the highlighter end and putting that all over my face and taking the e.l.f. small tapered brush, which is what I use to put on all my highlighter. I love it and I'm just blending that out. I really love this highlighter. It's perfect for pale girls. It gives just the right amount of glow without looking too much and it blends really nice into the skin and wears nicely all day, I think. I, I really like this duo. It's $3, can't go wrong with it. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. complexion brush and I'll be taking the e.l.f. blush palette in dark and I'm taking that top right color, your left, my right, and I'm just putting that all over. I love these blush palettes. I own both. They're so versatile. The blush is much better than the studio blush. They stay on all day and I'm really impressed with these. I feel like I don't ever have to buy any blush because I have like every color I could ever want now. Now taking my favorite e.l.f. matte lip colors, and this is in the color natural, and I'll just be putting that all over my lips. I love these. I have all colors except for the two new ones that just came out. I really want to invest in those because I really think these are great. And here is the finished eye look. I hope you guys like this one brand tutorial. I know I said e.l.f. before everything, even though it's the like e.l.f. one brand tutorial. Uh, like this video if you liked it and here's my L shirt that Brian got me for anniversary. Bye!